Good morning, grade fours, and welcome back to our social sciences lesson. Sorry, and good afternoon to those who have been to break. I'm happy to see all of you back, and I hope you're feeling safe and you're ready to learn. We will be looking at side views and plan views for today's lesson. And before we start, what is a map? A map is a drawing from above that shows us where places are. It can be used to find out more about a place. So if you live in North Cliff and you're not sure how to get to Crestamore from North Cliff Primary School, you can look at a map and it'll show you where Crestamore is from Northcliffe Primary School. We will look at maps um, on our next lesson, but for now we are focusing on side views and plan views. Let's look at side view of simple objects. When we see a picture of something drawn from the site, we call this a side view. I found three pictures drawn from a side view, and I know that we can all see that this is a picture of a shoe, and that is a picture of a mug or a cup, and that is a picture of a straw hat. And all these three objects were drawn from the site. If pictures are not drawn from the site, then where are they drawn from? Plan view. If pictures are not drawn from the site, they are drawn from above. When we see a picture of something drawn from above, we call this a plan view. I have found the same objects. Now, this time, they are drawn from above. The drawer or the artist had to look at the object from a bird's eye view. So they had to put the object on the floor and they had to look at the object from above. And this is what it looks like. This shoe is the same as that shoe, but it's only drawn from above. Now look at this mark carefully and let's see what it looks like from the above. And if you were to put your own mug or your water bottle on the floor, please don't put it on the floor, there's too many jams. But if you were to put it on the floor, this is what it would look like. You'd only see the top of the mug and not the side. Now, the summer hat from our previous slide is drawn from the side. And here, it's drawn from the top. And all these are drawn from the above or from the top. Now we are going to look at our first activity. And I want to see if you can match objects drawn from the sides to object drawn from above. Would you be able to identify a tree drawn from the site to a tree drawn from above? And activity one is observe and match. The heading is observe and match. And number one says match the objects A to E. That's A to E. A, B, C, D, E, with their plan views 
1 to 5. And this is their plan views. And I've drawn a simple table for you there, just to assist you. You will look at A, it matches with that A, B matches with that B, and so forth. Now, you will look on the numbers. If you think A matches a specific number on the plan views, and you write this correct number over there. And yes, you may use color. I love color. Number two, what do we call a view that is drawn from above? Please remember to answer in full sentences. And this is how you will begin your answer. We call a view that is drawn from above a mm -mm view. Okay. The last question for our first activity says, where could the artist have been when he or she drew view D? If you look carefully, our letters are this side. Find view D. Look at it carefully and answer number three for me. Please remember to answer in full sentences. Read force. Now, moving forward, you are going to focus on page 25 of your social science platinum textbook. And I have one in front of me here. And the heading for activity two says, match side views and plan views. Please remember to underline your date and heading. And please remember to use a ruler. On the textbook, you will see that you're given pictures A, B, C, D, and these are in side view, and you have to match the pictures to one, two, three, four, and that is in plan view. You can draw a table, just like you did on your previous activity to match, or you can simply match however you like. It really doesn't matter. Okay, once that is done, you will do corrections with Mrs. Demadema or Mr. Smith or myself right here to do corrections with you. Now, remember you're not coming to school tomorrow, the 13th of August. I want you to choose four objects of your choice at home. Um, it's entirely up to you. You can choose a plant, you can choose a shoe, you can choose, please remember to sanitize your hands before and after the activity. You can choose a water bottle, you can choose a plate. There are so many things at home that you can choose, but I only want you to choose four of your favorite objects or of objects that you think might be interesting to draw and I want you to draw a side view and a plan view of each object and don't forget to label your objects so if you choose a shoe you will have a picture of the shoe from the site and you will label the shoe and say side view of my shoe or my mom's shoe or my brother's shoe and then next to it, you will have a plan view. And the plan view would be of the same object. If it's your shoe, you'll say plan view of my shoe. If it's your mom's shoe, you'll say plan view of my mom's shoe or my brother's shoe or my sister's shoe. It really doesn't matter what whose shoe it belongs to. But please remember to label. All right. And those will be your activities from your SS Platinum textbook, which I gave to you at the beginning of the year, and I hope they're still in good condition. That's it from me, Grade Force, and thank you for sticking around. Remember, be kind, be respectful, and stay safe.